Hi, I'm Tina Clymer. I'm the administrator for Carbon, Monroe, and Pike Counties. My view is that the mental health system is not broken. It is significantly underfunded. If we received a budget increase, we would focus on housing services. Over the years, we've had to close some housing opportunities for people with serious mental illness. Um, if we received a budget increase, we would focus on bringing those services back into our communities and expanding the services that we have. We would focus on giving someone a place to live and the supports they need to be successful in the community, including crisis services. My name is Amber Concepcion, Vice Chair of Center County Board of Commissioners. And I'm Steve Dersh, I'm Center County Commissioner. My name is Mark Higgins, Chair of the Center County Commissioners. With additional mental health funding, Center County would be able to maintain and enhance our services for suicide prevention, which in turn improves the well-being of our community. We would be able to fully fund our residential programs, allowing our residents to live and thrive here in their home community. By restoring our previous funding reductions, we could offer increased and consistent services unique to our community. My name is Kathy Cromer, Deputy Administrator of Northampton County Mental Health. With additional state funds, Northampton County would be able to develop more treatment-based housing programs to support individuals with serious mental illness, thereby supporting individuals to get out of our prisons, homeless shelters, and the streets. We could fund residential providers so that they can pay a living wage to frontline staff and can offer competitive wages this will assist with recruitment and retention. We could bring back pro-social programs like Mental Health Clubhouse to support individuals in gaining skills to live successfully in the community. With adequate funding, Northampton County could properly serve individuals, which would f be far less costly to the state and to the taxpayers. My name is Corey Selhammer, Mental Health Program Specialist and Crisis Intervention Team Coordinator for Franklin and Fulton County. If we had more mental health funding, we would be able to invest in increasing wages for our frontline staff in residential programs and other provider agencies, develop additional licensed housing options to include supportive housing services. We would also revisit the assertive community treatment team that would be able to meet and work with individuals in the community. Our community could use a psych rehab, a partial hospitalization program, and a clubhouse as well as increasing transportation to access existing programs. There are many other mental health services to include children and adolescent services that are needed for those in the community to support their wellness. I am Clinton County Commissioner Jeff Snyder. UPMC Hospital in Lock Haven recently downsized to an outpatient emergency care facility only. The Lycoming Clinton County Joinder is involved in discussions with UPMC to use a vacant space in the hospital for juvenile and adult inpatient and outpatient mental health treatment services, including administrative office spaces. Many times we have to send our juveniles to Ohio for treatment because there are no other available options. Any financial support to assist us with these much needed community mental health treatment programs will be greatly appreciated.